Hello everyone. I'd like to talk about how to prepare osteoinductive tooth ring bone using Vecchia Sonic system. After the tooth is extracted, all soft tissues attached to the tooth are removed with a scalpel or high speed bar. All old dental restorations dental carriers and calculus remaining on the tooth must be completely removed with high-speed bar. When removing these foreign substances using a high-speed hand piece, sufficient coolant must be supplied in order to prevent denaturation of osteoinductive proteins in dentin. Cut about 3 to 4 millimeters of the apical root using a disc. Several apical root is prepared to particulate to spawn graft. The crown is also cut at C junction using a disc. After removing the pulp in the pulp chamber, the crown is also prepared to particulate to bone graft at the same time. The hole is formed in the center of the root for implant placement using a 2 mm wide round carbide bar. Complete the preparation of a space for implant engagement using an implant drill that is 1 mm narrower than implant diameter. Perforate the root with a small round carbide bar. 1 mm diameter macro pore is formed at interval of 2 to 3 mm. These macro pores increase the contact between the root and the reagent. After tooth ring bone is implanted on the bony defect, macro pores promote vascular invasion and accelerate newborn formation in an implanted tooth ring bone. Use the Becasonic reagent kit for preparing tooth ring bone. This kit contains five tubes and five bioreact caps. There are two number one tubes in this kit. Number one tube contains sterilization reagent. Number two tube contains 0.6 normal hydrochloric acid for tooth demineralization. Number three and number four tubes contain washing reagent for demineralized tooth block. This is a vacuum sonic machine to accelerate sterilization, demineralization, and washing process of dentin under vacuum sonic condition. In order to transmit ultrasonic vibration to tubes well, the tank must be filled with water. Place the prepared tooth ring bone into the number one tube for sterilization. And place bioreactor cap. Do not touch the interior of the cap that has a microfilter. 
to transmit vacuum compression inside the tube. Place the number one tube into the vacuasonic unit and ensure the lid is well closed. Select S mode and run S mode for 10 minutes to sterilize the prepared tooth ring. After the sterilization mode is complete, drain the solution. Put the demineralization solution in tube number 2 into tube number 1. Or use sterile twitch to transfer the tooth block into tube number 2 and use a new bioreactor cap. Ensure the tube and bioreactor cap remain sterile during the transfer process. Place the second tube in the vacuasonic unit for demineralization of the tooth root. Select the T mode, which is uh, demineralization mode and check settings. Follow vacuasonic setting guide for demineralization mode. I prepare 30 minute demineralization for tooth block and tooth ring bone. 10 minute demineralization is recommended to prepare particulate tooth bone graft. After effective demineralization procedure, the inorganic components of dentin can be reduced and the calcified dentin can induce release of diverse osteoinductive proteins. After drainage of demineralization solution, put the demineralized to sling bone into tube number 3 for washing. After placing tube number 3 in vacuasonic kit, run the vacuasonic in the, the first washing mode for 10 minutes. After the completion of first washing mode, the used washing solution is drained into the, the other empty tube and transfer the tooth ring bone into the tube number 4 for final washing to remove all reagent from the prepared tooth. Place the tube in vacuasonic unit and select W2 mode, which is uh, the final washing mode, for 10 minutes. After cleaning the demineralized tooth ring bone in W2 mode, the cleaning reagent is drained. The prepared tooth ring bone should be used on the same day or you need to keep it in the refrigerator for the future user. Tooth bone becomes flexible after proper demineralization process as shown on this video. This is the same image of undemineralized dentin. This same image shows you well arranged dentinal tuber and compact surface between dentinal tubers. Osteoinductive proteins cannot be released because high crystalline hydroxyapatite block 
dentinal tubers in untreated dentin. This is the same image of dentin after 30 minutes demineralization. Demineralized dentin reveals low crystallinity and widened dentinal tubers to allow the release of diverse osteoinductive proteins from dentin. Abundant collagen fibers, which play an important role in calcification, are also revealed in this same image. After the dentin goes through an appropriate demineralization process by chair side, it becomes elastic and soft scaffold to induce bone deformation. You can use this demineralized osteoinductive tooth bone link uh, for the augmentation of a large socket defect with or without simultaneous implant placement.